morning. I swear a lot. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Warsaw. So, at the end of the last episode, things were looking pretty bleak. Yeah, we ended on a success, but overall, our chances for long-term survival don't look good. What with all the losses we've sustained, and general problems we have, but I'm not one to give up. I'm not one to give up. So Kristoff's a full health. These two need to rest. That's fine. There's a lot of problems in Warsaw right now. Mariana also needs time to rest. This is okay. This is expected. How many... How many supplies do I have? I have 146. Okay, so we are gonna have to wait a few days, and that's unfortunate. So we've got... Excursions to Mokotau, Okota, and uh, Shlomidzi. Mokotau definitely needs the help. There we go. We need to keep them going for just a little bit longer. Now, my approaches to missions, I was starting to get it towards the end of the first episode, but definitely the key is to just avoid opponents whenever you can. Really, you need to avoid them as much as possible. Your goal is to achieve the objective and to survive another day. That's really all we want. I want to know how to try and get more war assets, but... I don't know, maybe achieving certain objectives, maybe there are special missions, I don't know, there's a lot I don't understand right now. Also it occurred to me, I said like, oh this is the tutorial campaign, but the way that works is that the tutorial campaign is basically they give you some guys to start off with, give you the tutorial, and then it just becomes a normal campaign. We are in a normal campaign right now, it's on normal difficulty and everything, so... I'll have a look at the missions, I'll have a look, because if there's anything that seems like it can be done quite easily, it could be worth looking into. Yeah, see that for instance we couldn't do. This, maybe. The only problem is, of course, if we do do this, we don't recover. You know, that's the issue, of course. People who leave the hideout don't heal. But what if I was to really cheese it? Huh? I've got a risky play, right? I've got a risky play. I've got a very risky play. Welcome to, T welcome Timo. I'm gonna call him Timo because I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. I'm gonna try and do a mission with one dude. This is risky. This is risky in the extreme. Though to be fair, if we fail, we won't lose much. Timo, Timo. All you've got to do, buddy, is deliver supplies. That's all you've got to do. We don't need long ammo. You only have a pistol. Do you understand me? You only have a pistol, so this is all unnecessary. In fact, he doesn't need heavy ammo either. All he needs is not much short ammo, so we won't lose much if we fail. We do need the camouflage. We're probably not going to need the bandages, because if he gets in a fight, he's dead. Let's be real. So leave the bandages. This. I'm going to try... I'm going to try. I'm going to really try and see if I can cheese this a little bit. Okay? Okay. So, I need to remind myself how to play. It's been a few minutes. Well, actually, it's not been that long, but it has been a few minutes. So, we very slowly... Okay, I can't get around that. Uh, I need to be very careful. Supplies. But there's no need to be greedy. Okay, there's some supplies. Very nice, good. Okay. We go this way. There's the there's the citizens whom require supplies. Yes, deliver supplies. You managed to deliver the batch successfully, but there's still more to go. Yes. Yes, there are. The next one is to, is to the north. Huh? I think the game's a little confused. Yeah, that might be a bug. Okay, never mind. Moving on. I really hope that fades because that's going to really throw me off. Now, where are we? We're down in the south. I'll come down to this road if there's nothing here, and there isn't. We move on. We're not here for anything other than our objective. Oh, it was just really close by. Okay, that's strange, but not complaining. You delivered the batch, there are more to go. It does tell me where to go, very handy. Okay, we might be able to just sneak this. 
I do have camouflage if I need it. That's scary. I do have camouflage. If we can succeed, though, all of our forces will heal and we'll have still completed a mission, gotten the rewards, and prevented attrition. Which would be extremely important. I am going to use the compasses freely because we might need to take the long way round in some occasions to make sure we don't die. It's worth pointing out, though, if 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 Timo gets caught once, if Timo gets caught once in a battle, unless I can manage to retreat in some fashion, he is dead. He he will be extremely dead. In fact, this appears to be leading to more. Yeah, see, there's Nazis over there. Now would be the time. Oh, it's doing this again. I don't know where that means. Oh, I hate it when it does this. It's just only been this one time, but it's been a problem. Supplies over there. Okay. Andy. There, 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 there. As far as you can tell, this was your last stop. Time to move out. Yep, we're done. Flawless victory. That's how we that's how we run a resistance operation. That's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't really get much for doing this, to be honest. I don't think we really gained anything, but we it would have been better than waiting. You know, we did something. Picking up the pieces, I don't know what that means. But we did something, as opposed to nothing. Which we would have... Oh, Mokotau surrendered, even though I did an excursion. Well, fuck. Okay, well, that's not good, but... We're gonna have to make do. I don't see this campaign ending in success. Maybe that's not even the point, but... We can at least try. A man of somewhat intimidating countenance is brought before you, though not as a prisoner, but a guest. Having been rescued from a Nazi roundup by the resistance, he insists on repaying the debt by joining the uprising. By his own admission, he is an experienced mechanic and also has a mean right hook. Marion, I like you. I like you, Marion. You're a cool guy. I fear we've had a province surrender on us far too soon, though, uh, and that, that may be consequential to the overall war effort. Marion, buddy, tell me about yourself. You carry a pistol, quite a nice one, and a heavy weapon. Hot shot, push an enemy back a tile, bleed. Ah, oh, you can bleed people. Burn? Do you have a flamethrower? Okay, well, uh, while we did do very well in that thing that we... Really? Wait, everyone healed? Fucking let me look. Oh, everyone healed. Oh, banging. All right, okay, good, great. Well, that went well. Did we get any supplies? Yeah, we got some. Unfortunately, they surrendered. Not great. Our excursions would be incredibly expensive. Is there anything we can sell to perhaps make that happen? Not really. We kind of need all this stuff. Like we don't. I know. I'm sure we don't want to be getting rid of ammo. That shit's too important. I can sell these. Then in fact I will, because I'm just not using them. Alright, now we have some money. Okay, okay, alright then. Okay, nice. Alright. So we got Praga, Vola, and Shremish. Um Definitely Praga. Fuck it, all of them. Fuck it, all of them. That's probably not a good idea, but you know what? Let's just try and salvage this situation a little bit. Bring things back. We've got one less province to look after. That might help us. Now, see, I feel like we're well suited to stopping a transport because it would be an armored vehicle, right? And we have people who can deal with armored vehicles. We have two rocket launcher users, actually. Soothing presence would be very good. So, yeah, we're, we are technically, 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 technically well suited to dealing with, with a transport. And... Vola currently has the highest attrition rate. Which means surely we want to do something here to try and stop that. I think we can do it. You just need to find the transport, destroy it, and we're good to go. Yes, I've got I've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do our formation. If Javiga goes there, then everyone restores additional stamina as well. One additional stamina point for the paramedic and adjacent allies. Now, of course, this does make us vulnerable to 
area of effect attacks, but the extra stamina means that everyone can always be do like Carol can use his um, Molotov, for instance, without suffering for the rest of the battle. We're gonna want that, gonna want that. Probably those. A little bit of extra heavy ammo, just in case. I think we can do this. If we're smart about it, I think we can do it. I don't know, we'll see. Nothing ever goes as planned. We have a passing transport to take care of. We can get it, take it out. Uh, I'm scared. Yeah, that's why I'm scared. Oh, we could get those supplies. Let's do that, just in case. There's the thing we need to do. Okay, we can totally get to that without pissing them off. Got all that stuff. Very good. Now we can go around the back so no one knows we're here. Transport is passing by your location. Do not let it go any further. Got it. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Some big damage. Very good. If we could perhaps focus fire at this turn. That would be handy. That's very good. Now they're on fire. Happy. We can afford to take some damage. We can afford it. It's almost gone. It's actually very close. Marion's so cool. Good shot. Javiga, well done. Oh, does the transport get his own fucking, uh, his own moves? Because he is essentially a boss fight. Okay, and this works the way I hoped it would, in the sense that everyone got two stamina back instead of just one. Now you could kill it. How about you? Do you do more damage? 22 to 30 versus... Okay, it's the same, but I think, um... Yeah, Kristoff's a little more accurate. Oh no, not feigned activity. Nope, that would be a mistake. Shield breaker. So close. So, ah, uh, we might actually be able to make this work. You know? That's not great, but we might be able to make this work. Tell you what. With our dude, our guy, the legend himself. There we go. That gave him something to think about. All right, very good. Now, what we're also going to do, just to make sure nothing, this doesn't go horribly wrong. Yeah, let's just make sure. You're repairing your cover. Good for you, buddy. I hope it does everything you want it to. Yes, indeed. So this guy has low health. That would kill him. No, he does finger guns. What a ledge. Oh, this guy. Oh, this fucking guy. So cool. Yeah. Stop. Carol is taking quite a bit of damage, but we can keep on top of it. In fact, we will. Yeah, it had to happen eventually. We were doing too well. We were doing too well. Bad shot, but it's okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you were run an uprising. Yes, yes, indeed. No casualties. Successful missions. We got some supplies and everything. This should be fine. We've done it. Let's get out. Bingo. Couldn't ask for more. All right. We might actually be able to do this. Maybe. I don't know. Possible. Momentum keeps going down. That's not good. But what exactly can I do? I think momentum's supposed to go down anyway. 
A late spinster's apartment has been used as one of the dead drop sites for the uprising, and reports are coming in that the Nazis are planning an offensive in that area, possibly even cutting it off altogether. Before that happens, Command feels it would be best to act now and sweep the apartment for anything that could otherwise provide the enemy with problematic information. Yeah, probably should. Just to be on the safe side, you decide it's better to pay the apartment a visit as soon as possible. Extra uprising momentum. Good, we need that. God, we need that. Even if we did lose supplies for it, but, you know, you pay costs... I think that large number is the amount of people in Warsaw, and that number is going down very quickly. How many supplies do we have? We have 208. How are we doing for excursions? A resupply in Shrodomishi. They could definitely do with it. Just to keep things running. We check this now. Yeah, Carol needs three days. Those guys need two. Do we have any missions that I can kind of cheese out, as it were. <laughs> I mean, I just saw that Praga's not doing very well. Mokhtar surrendered. Praga... Hmm. We can't do anything about it, though. Assassinate an officer. And uh, assassinate a high-value Nazi officer, so that's one enemy. Shh. Perhaps we can handle it, but... Kristov and Marion are wounded, and that's not great. Carol will have to sit it out. He can't come in for this. Tricky, 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 tricky. Alright, well, this is going to be the riskiest part of the playthrough so far, possibly, but it's got to be done. We need to hold on to that place for at least a little while. We need the war assets for a start. Can I bring one more? Oh, it sucks, it sucks you can only bring four. I know you're supposed to be outnumbered, but geez, makes things difficult. Alright, let's give this a go. Assassination. Not really something we've done before. We also don't know where the uh, officer is, which... I guess I kind of expect the game to just tell me where everything is all the time. Oh, nope, we found it. It's over there. Convenient. Very convenient. I'm going to go around to make sure I don't accidentally run into something bad. Nazi soldiers down there. Probably shouldn't have gone through there. Those bullets. It was scary. There they are. If we can just get in there and take them out, we're good to go. Shoot to kill. Let's do this. As long as we survive. There's the officer there. He's not excessively tough. Good shot, good shot, good start, good start. Not great. So what does contain mean? Oh, blinded. I see. Well, she can heal instead. She doesn't need to, um... She doesn't need to fire. Trigger happy's up close. That's unfortunate. Good shot. I feel like we take him out, and it will lower their effectiveness significantly. So one more shot. We got him. There we go. The officer's dead. We've technically done it. We've technically achieved our objective. We could just run away now, but I'm sure the game wouldn't see it that way. Like, I have to finish the battle. I have to destroy all of them. First aid, who needs it? I think... I think we're alright, to be honest. Yeah, you're a frontline dude, so what if we pushed you back? It's a flanking shot and all. It groups them up as well, which might lead to more advantageous... Conditions for certain things. Set those two on fire. That will help, hopefully. They are both on fire. His health is low, so we're going to want to do something about that. Probably now. Damn, that was not good. Damn, that was not good. Damn, that was not good. If only we had someone with a snapshot, we could have forced him down there, but that's not an option we have, I'm afraid. Good shot. Ah, mm, mm, don't like that. Mm, don't like that. Don't like that. Don't like that. Keep them going, just keep them going. Working them down, doing all right. Herring's fine, no need to panic. 
It's the perfect time to panic. If we can focus on killing him, that'll be something. It's just one less turn that they they have. Oh my god. Okay, well that has changed our plans, hasn't it? That has changed our plans at least somewhat. Oh, it's not looking good. We're getting worn down. It's okay. It's okay. We can pull through. We can pull through. I've got my next... I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but it, I may well have my next... Oh! Alright, alright. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, what we're going to do... You can't single... Why can't you single shot? You're suppressed, aren't you? Motherfucker. How could you do this to me? You opened fire on him. It wouldn't be enough to kill. You can't hit. Well, oh, you mean shield breaker, but it, it, it's decreased accuracy against infantry. You can't do anything. You can, so you're going to need to heal someone. We're screwed if she dies, to be fair. We might end up losing someone, but he's got to go. There we go. She's still alive. But she's blind now. He's going to be a problem. Do you think you could kill him? You could. There we go. And that has saved the situation. That has saved it. That has saved the situation. Thank fuck for that. You can't hear anyone. You can and you will in a minute. That's a good shot. It was a good shot. I was happy with you for doing it, and I think the next shot will kill him. Yes. There we go. Okay. All right. We won poorly, but we did win. We did win. The, 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 the guy is dead, and we can leave. I am, however, going to do this. Just so I can quickly investigate. Yeah, I was hoping. And I was right. Supplies. Heavy ammo. Yeah, cool. Alright, well that was totally worth it. Done and done. They're all fucked though. So I hope the next mission, or one of the next missions we get, is a supply run. Or something just required. Oh, Mokotau and Praga both surrendered. Ah. Uh, New blood. That's handy. Uh, but it's getting worse, though. The situation's getting worse. A puzzling man makes a surprise appearance at your hideout today, introducing himself as one of the executioners of the home, ar home army. He explains that it is his sworn duty to personally deliver death penalties upon those sentenced by the Polish underground state, be they Germans or merely German sympathizers. Explaining that he was assigned to your team in order to carry out one of his operations, he makes no delay in moving to his new quarters. Ernest, welcome. I would like you to execute all of them, please. All of them, if you could. Every single one. We've survived 36 days. But I feel like... Hmm. I don't know how much longer we can keep this going. You absolute legend. What is that weapon? Is that a heavy machine gun of some kind? It is. Very cool. And he has a Nagan as his backup. Now, I bet there is good reason to actually get those... Have those, um damaged weapons and repair them. I bet they can probably turn into really good stuff, but we just need the money. We really need the money right now. We do. We got nothing to repair. Okay, so we've stabilized things in certain places. Let's see what missions we've got. Age resistance efforts. Now, does that mean fight the enemy or just help them out? Collect useful salvage. I could do that. Stop the enemy mortars from firing. Uh, oh, I don't know if I can do that one right now. Shrodomishi seems like the most likely one. Miski? I don't know. I apologize for my pronunciations. They're all going to be wrong. I do apologize. I don't know how much longer this campaign's going to last, to be honest. Like, things are getting dire. Momentum's dropping. This seems like the one we need to do because we need to stop attrition in this region from going up because it's getting worse 
Bolas should be fine. I would go to there, but... Stopping enemy mortars? I don't know. I don't think we can handle that right now. We're kind of relying on the fact that aiding resistance efforts simply means just going to them and activating the objective, not fighting the enemy. Is this area control, which implies to me fighting, which, at which point this would probably be the smart thing to do. Hmm. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, most of us... Those two need to... Those three need to heal. Those two could serve, but... Uh. There it is. Okay. It's really just which mission do we choose? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. I need bandages just in case this turns out to be a bit more combat heavy than I thought. Okay, well, what can we do other than try? What can we do other than try? Other than try. We have to try. If we don't try, then what's the point? We have to have a look around. If we get immediately caught out by an enemy patrol, we're fucked, by the way. Uh huh, supplies. Cool, cool. This will be fine. We can come back there if we need more camouf camouflage. Or what we could do... Use that. Grab that. Although I'm not going to get much use out of it. Ah. This is at the top of the map. We don't need to fight them and we aren't going to. Uh, uh, oh boy, good thing we were behind buildings. Oh god. Wait, age resistance efforts in the district, one of six. What did we do? Is it just do stuff? Is this so? We're gonna have to fight something. Because there are only two events in. Th well, actually, if we found all those events in loot boxes, we could be okay, but. Seems dangerous, no? I doubt we could run out. I doubt we'd have enough time to try and track down every single one, either. You gotta fight something. We can't... We can't shy away. Yeah, here we go. I should have proceeded while I had the chance, but oh well. That's not good. That's a lot of them. A Gestapo officer. That's not good. And no one's in the right position for him to use Onslaught. No one's really in the right position for him to do that. Ah, but we could set it up, perhaps. There we go. That's what you craft give. Yeah, you want to do that? Good for you, buddy. Good for you. And it does damage as well. Okay, Onslaught is very good then. If it's yeah, because it suppressed them as well. I don't know what you did. It moved you and suppressed you. Okay, not ideal, but whatever. Oh, he's on fire, which it seems hazardous to his health, I gotta be honest, given his role. Could you kill him, perhaps? Good. Nearly. He... Unfortunately, of course, they, there are more of them than there are us, so they are getting more actions. That's not great. He resisted it, though, because he's actually something of a legend. Oh, yeah, the uh, the fire guy died. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to want that so that he can... Unfor it sucks that that takes an action, though. If we could have it not take an action, that would be incredible. But because it does take an action and costs stamina, it's not great. But there, at the very least, if we can suppress them. Suppress suppressed one of them. Not bad. Oh, boy. I'm guessing that sniper ignores cover, so we're going to want to do something about him. How much damage would you do? Not enough, really. 
You used yours. Hmm, this is a tricky situation for real. Oh. Let's have you move up to cover, at the very least. It'll do something for you. That's so dangerous. Yeah, your healing's your prick. Oh no, you removed his suppression. Oh, that's not good. Okay, um. At least damage him. Ah, oh, and now they've got a turn. Ah, oh, that's not good. Is that suppression? Yeah, it is. Oh, this could work. Disruptive actions, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could, this could be good. Yowch, he might die. It's distinctly possible. He's bleeding and everything. And then if we use controlled fire, does damage and applies. So, uh, yeah, applies blind. He's still hit, so I don't really know why I fucking bothered with all that crap, because it did nothing, but I tried. At least we can kill him, potentially. There we go, he's down. That was two of their turns, because he was a leader, I guess. Very good. That just suppresses and moves. Although it does create an awkward situation for us, I'm not going to lie. Good damage. Working them down. They both resisted the blind, because fuck me. Yeah, I think I've got my plans for the moment. The ability to apply blind if we can try and force them to miss. Oh god, that's bad damage. Oh man. It'll do something for us. It'll do more than nothing. He's blind, at least. That's what you have to I wish you wouldn't buff him, that's very annoying. Good, killed one. <laughs> killed one, very good. Let's focus on scoring kills at the very least. I think we'll lose one of our volunteers. I think that's pretty much guaranteed by this point. Probably gonna be you, so if you killed him, Oh god, don't even, buddy, what are you doing? No. Genau in den Kopf. Christ. I need you to finish him, I really do. Fuck off. Been suppressed. Kill him. There we go. Remove an activation from the enemy side roof, store one point of stamina. So now they can't axe this turn, which means we pretty much have them dead to rights. But we should do, anyway. It is enough, it was enough, it did do it in fact, it killed him. Excellent. Okay, that was rough, that was really rough. I did not pick a good mission, really, I didn't. I did not pick a good mission, this could be... This could be a bit much for us. That's helpful. We can. Ah, 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 we need to try and do something here. With a quiet creak, the gate of a nearby boarding house opens, revealing a surprisingly clean looking man in a casual suit. He does not seem to have noticed your group, and his fidgety manner seems to speak more of practiced caution rather than fear. He strains his attire with a curse adorned grunt and leaves just as abruptly as he appeared. It is only after he vanishes around the corner that you notice a thin line of red trailing behind his steps from inside the building. The blood? Maybe we could save someone? Inside the building, the intermittent streak of blood leads your team to a small studio flat with its doors flung open. There, strewn across the carpet, you find the brutally mangled body of a young woman. Somebody, someone either cut or tore the dress off her back, leaving only a bloody swastika carved in the naked flesh. Below the symbol, like a set of accompanying flourishes, there is a clearly knife-wrought word. Or. Let's try and identify her, I suppose. You find the remnants of a grey Ken cart, two of its three pages torn out and thus utterly unhelpful. However, the document does faintly smell of women's perfume. Without having much to go on right now, it seems like the most you can do for this girl is arrange an anonymous burial in some place controlled by the uprising. We got more morale, that's something, but boy. I personally did not get more morale. Is 
This is awkward. We're gonna have to use more camouflage. We wanna get past. Another event, another box. We need we just need to not really fight as much as we can. Your group is called to assist with the evacuation of a field hospital in one of the local churches. The word has gone out that the Nazis have discovered the hospital, and so, in advance of the unavoidable sweep, the hospital has to be relocated as quickly as possible. Time is running out, and establishing certain priorities may be crucial to the success of the effort. 50% across the board. 70%. 70%. Go on, Carol, you got it. The hospital beds are cumbersome and the wounded are many. Still, your group doesn't slow down or falter, and what little delay creeps in is quickly assailed by the physical exertions of the teammate in charge. It is a slog, but it pays off as you successfully manage to evacuate all of the bedridden patients. More morale. Thank God for that. We desperately need it. Stuff. Do with supplies. I really could. But everything we've got here is worth more than the amount of supplies there, so it's not worth it. Very. Oh, yeah. That's why we want to be careful. There are two more loot boxes in the area. If we can find one, like that, for instance, we can bail. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, let's bounce. Jesus. Okay, well, we still haven't lost anyone. Today. It's going quite well. I wish I'd done this to begin with. Did somewhere else surrender as well? I think they did. I think Okota just surrendered. That's unfortunate. Zolibus is nearly out. Vola is nearly out. Oh, boy. I'm not sure what to do from here. The chatter leads you face first into a spectacle of mob judgment. It appears that the residents of a nearby tenement house have rounded up a handful of their Volksdeutsch neighbors. The roused crowd calls out to your group to deal with the collaborators. Okay. Hearing out the pleas, you step into the mob to act out their will. The question of severity still remains, however, and some of the residents call for an alternative form of punishment. Take their shit. Oh, we gained attrition. Oh, no. You decide to confiscate their private wealth in service of the uprising. Although your decision is met with audible disapproval by the witnesses, a quick concession to split some of the goods between the residents proves enough to dissolve further tensions. I suppose it could have gone worse. I don't know. I've made. I've lasted 41 days. That's something. God, I don't know how many episodes this is going to go on for, because, um, shit. Problems. I think, um, yeah, I think Schrodemiski, or however you spell that, or pronounce it, is probably going to be our final stand. I think that's probably going to be our final stand by the end of this, because, shit, dude, we don't have much left. Carol, Darius, and Ernest need time to heal, but that's okay, because we have these, we have these three, and, I don't know, we could probably get another Resistance member or something. I think we're one off having a full squad, so let's check what the missions are. Collect useful salvage. See, we could do that without fighting Nazis. That's difficult. That's manageable. Reassert influence. See, I could go to Zolibus, but... I'm pretty sure Zolibus is about to fall. In fact, I don't think there's anything I can do to stop that either. Because attrition's at five, morale's at four. I think they'll just, they're just going to go, really. I think that's all that's going to happen there. Momentum is at 49.3%. Uh, reassert influence, because it would keep Volar going another day. We have enough for a full squad if we include Mariana and Timo. I think this is the best we got. This is the best we got. This is the best we can do. I hope reasserting influence doesn't mean fighting the enemy. Because I don't like fighting the enemy. It's actually really problematic. Reassert influence. Now, what does that mean exactly? I wish the game would give me a bit more of a detailed description as to what these things mean. Uh-huh. Let's just make sure, shall we? Ah, oh, it's the same as the other... God damn it. So we have to interact with things. And there's not enough... 
Yeah, there's not enough loot and events to do it, so we're gonna have to fight them. So why don't we just take these guys, just hit them now while we can, I suppose. Oh, God. You hate to see it. Armored and heavy weapon targets, so we could theoretically wipe these out straight away. Just get rid of them. I left for quick. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you keep doing that. Don't know how to tell you this, buddy, but the answer is no. No mortars. That's enough out of you. Loss. I bet that's not good. At least we can do some damage. We'll work them down. It'd be really nice if we could have one mission in which we didn't suffer severe casualties, but something tells me it's not going to happen. Also, that has completely fucked over our formation, which is not good. Good shot. At least we might be able to wipe out the engineer, which could actually do quite a lot to help us. Could theoretically kill him right now. But you didn't. Which is where things get complicated, because you didn't kill him. Oh. At least you can wound one and kill the other, perhaps. Good enough. He's dead. I shouldn't do much because she's behind cover, so it's okay. Dogs are hard to hit, so setting them on fire will actually help us immensely. He missed entirely, which is great. May as well start working him down. I mean, you could try, I suppose. You could just miss. That's fine. Doesn't bother me. Except it does. I want you to scorch them again. So it appears that, um... Oh, boy. It appears that Officer Boy over there doesn't actually have a lot going for him. Which is good. You could theoretically end this fairly soon. Good, good, good. Very good. Loss. Well, that thing is about to die, so I don't know why you bothered, to be honest with you. Take a moment to move him up there, then he could land a really good shot next turn. I didn't think they had another turn. I have to admit, I didn't think. I did not think. Good shot, good shot. It helps, it helps. We should be able to deal with these guys. You're damaged. You should be dead. You are. Excellent. I don't think we're going to get quite so lucky as to end this immediately, but at the very least, we can end it as quickly as possible. Good shot. Oh. Yeah, he's not very good, because his job is to be a dog handler. So if we can just... wipe that guy out at the back straight away... Oh, fuck off. Now, he's going to do something damaging, isn't he? That's yeah, you got a full 10 shot bullet. Yeah, of course he did. Yeah, because he... Yeah, because we he, we left him with one HP. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. Fuck's sake. There we go. Now, really, we just want to end this straight away. So, 88% chance. 107. Yeah, get rid of him. Just get rid of him. Just put him down. Just get rid of him. There we go. More victories. Doing well. Ah. Nice and carefully, yeah, because of that. We could theoretically end this without any more combat. We could, if we're careful. Where are we currently? We're at the top, okay. There are a lot of battles in the area, because of course there are. But if we can find those event, that event and that loot, we could just end this here and now. But the chances are we're going to come across more patrols rather than loot. Carefully, carefully. Alright, well. Ah, oh, cool, this is just a Gestapo. Ah, oh, fucking excellent. Ah, oh, great, okay. Alright, well. They are all conveniently grouped up, aren't they? 
It's okay, she's behind cover, she should be alright. Alright, if we want to reduce damage, I've got an idea. Not great, but... If we do the thing, it'll be all... Oh, you can't use feigned activity from that position for... Well, at least he's in cover now. At least he's in cover. It's something. It helps. Do some damage. If we keep applying Scorch, they'll all drop eventually. Ooh. Wait, did that hit him and missed the barricade? Wow, that guy's a really good shot, because he fucking did that perfectly, didn't he? Jesus. Focus on the Gestapo. Because he gives them most of their activations, I think. So if we kill him, they lose a lot of their turns. Ah. Uh, yeah. Chad, we could got hit for most of that. Oh, and they have Scorch as well. Ah, oh, very good. Ah, oh, very good. And Chad has been blinded, and so has... Oh, God, no. Did he just do that twice? This could be tricky. Hmm. I need you to keep scorching them, though. They've all been burned. This is very good. So we're also being burned, and this is very not good. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, really. Very good shot. He should die at the end of the turn, or on his turn. That will pull him forward. That's actually good, because now he can he can taunt. Target an obstacle, okay. Do die, do die. Yeah. Now they'll target him instead. Oh, they'll shoot the barricade, which is actually even better. Alright, we can work with that. Give it a try, though. Fuck. You missed the guy we really needed you to hit, of all things. Now, of course, Kristoff's ability to get them to target um, terrain is risky, because if they destroy all our obstacles, we have nothing left to hide behind. Then again, it's better for them to shoot the obstacles than shoot us, right? Surely. He actually survived. That is extremely annoying. Mr. Gestapo actually survived. I am infuriated. They are all taking damage, though. We're working them down, but we're also taking damage, and it's not great. Ah, Gestapo man died. Very good. Okay, well... You scorched, it wouldn't be enough to kill- Really, we need you to land this shot. Oh, fuck off. God's sake. I'll swap them around. But if you scorch, then Green Boy is dead. And that's something. They're still shooting now, which is very good. I don't know how many- It's one more tick, but it's still keeping us safe for now. something. It hurts him. That's good. He will die now. Yes, he died. Very good. I took away their last turn. Okay, so we can take stock for a moment. Oh, boy. You could kill him. Fuck. God. Fuck. That would have been too good if you killed him, wouldn't it? It would have been too good. That would have been too helpful. If you had killed him. Too helpful. I don't blame you, Kristoff. You shouldn't have done it. It would have been too helpful. In position. You're gonna move, aren't you? No? Okay, good. That wouldn't kill him, though. Alright, well, at the very least, Scorch will hit all three of them. So that does help actually. God damn that damage though. Ah. Just keep yourself going. We keep working them down with fire and they'll die eventually. Set up. What are you doing? Ah, oh, you moved up. That's annoying. At least you're on fire.
And now they have no cover, which is actually very good. He takes damage. He takes damage. He dies. Good. Now if you land this... Wouldn't actually be enough to kill. Oh my god. Oh, why can't you people just kill them as opposed to not killing them? Please? Fuck's sake! Let me get- yeah, he gets- yeah, of course, yeah, because that's how it works. Fucking bastard! Why'd you keep surviving with one health left, you dickheads? Kill! Oh, you got him. You did get him. You got the one I wanted you to hit. I would have preferred if you'd hit both of them. Well, I suppose I'm not too picky. But we have to be careful because that guy with, with the submachine gun is quite a dangerous fire and he has grenades. Davriga's probably gonna have to heal herself or at least get heals because she's in too, too much risk at that point. Ten to sixteen with a hundred versus Yeah. It's a good shot. Did a lot of damage. But that did a lot of damage in return, though. To be fair, we're all gonna have to fucking rest for numerous days after this, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. That's good, because it sets us up for you to single shot him. And down he goes. Okay, we killed more Nazis. It's almost as if we're getting quite good at killing Nazis. It's just, you know, there's too few of us to really win the war. It would be nice if killing them at least provided some kind of reduction to um, attrition or something. Just, you know, we're, we're beating them. They are dying. They're pr and because their numbers are lowering, they're applying less pressure and it's helping. That would be nice. You know what would be nice? If they weren't attacking us in the first place. <laughs> Just putting it out there. In fact, I'd rather not take unnecessary risks. So it's a fight. And uh, we can't do that. We cannot do that. We need to have one more event, as it were, or loot. And we'll be okay. I got stuck on a building, for fuck's sake. Need more of those. And then, at the risk, to make sure I don't die. Aha. Uh -huh. Lads, allow me to help you with anything. Oh no. Near your location, a barricade held by the uprising is fast being approached by a Nazi assault unit. The offensive is difficult to quantify, but should the barricade be abandoned, it will likely be taken by the enemy. And if we leave, that I'm guessing that will improve attrition. But if we commit our team, that's going to be a fight. Fuck it. You decide to fight off the forces threatening to overtake the area. Well, if we win this, there's only, th there's only three of them. Okay. Including a Gestapo officer. There's only three of them. But they also have a Delvanger, which are extremely dangerous, but... We can burn them, we can work them down. That pulls him forward and suppresses him. Yeah, which is unfortunate, but... It is what it is. Some good damage. Thank God he missed. It's just, I need every good thing to happen right now and no bad things. I don't know how else to put it. Truly don't. You could push him back. It did work. Okay, good. That makes things slightly more awkward for him. But he's still very fucking dangerous. He is on fire though, and that helps. First aid. I think the one place that Kristoff does not fight well from is the front, which is really unfortunate because that's where he is. And I'm pretty sure Marion can't use Scorch from back there, which is unfortunate because that's like his best thing. 
Yeah. So our uh, damage output is going to immediately drop. Yeah. Oh, fuck. She's okay. She's okay. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Yikes, but it's okay. I have an idea. It will be okay. I have an idea. The fire is burning them. It will help. Feigned activity. There. Do die, do die. Yep, that will help. Uh, I mean, uh, hmm, uh, hmm. For now, we might just need to have the fire work them down. That might be the best we've got. But as long as we win, we can escape. I mean, everyone's already, like, severely wounded by... Oh, severely wounded by this point, so I'm not sure how much really preventing damage would do. We really just want to win the fight without anyone dying. We are working them down. It's just slow. Slower than I'd like it to be. I need them all on fire. Fortunately, they're still targeting that. Potentially, we could kill him. We could kill him. Straight up kill him. That will help the situation. Uh, it will help the situation. It will. We just need to kill him. That's it. That's all we gotta do. We just gotta kill him. It will take away one of their activations as well. There we go. Big help. In fact, I think. Oh! That's why I was wary about doing it this way, but you know what? We'll be alright. Just gotta keep everyone standing and work them down. We do that, we're good. See, he's nearly dead. The Gestapo guy ain't feeling very good. We actually have more turns than them right now. I suggest you keep scorching them. Very good. Oh god, that was a bad shot. Though it occurs to me. No, you wouldn't. I mean, if you could do enough damage that on his turn he would die. Fuck me. This is how we lose people. Okay, you didn't kill him. That's good. But I'm not inclined to take risks on this anymore. We have to be more careful than we are being, because if people die, we're in big trouble. Do you just do the same thing to it? Why would you? What? Why? 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 Why would you do that? I don't understand. It's okay. I just don't get it. There we go. Destroy cover. Dead guy. You're the only one who's left. Do you have any last words, you prick? Something in German, I'm sure. I had to assume. Down he goes. We have fought. We have fought a lot of Nazis today. We fought a lot of Nazis. We've got no experience for. Come on. There better be other benefits to doing this. I swear to Christ. There was literally no benefit to doing that. Oh my God. Let's leave. Fuck this place. We were victorious, quote unquote. Oh God. Oh. Oh, world coming down. Ah, another place surrender. Okay, it's just Vola now. Oh no. We're not getting much each day either. Not many among the resistance fighters choose to handle explosives voluntarily, especially since the projected lifespan of such a task tends to be even shorter than normal. However, the uprising may have found one such individual during the recent ammunition depot raid. Given her stated experience of handling explosives and munitions, command is willing to give her a chance. Wanda has joined your cause. She seems cool. I think she's on the title screen. Day 45. I think we've got maybe two days left before we simply just... Before the last place falls, and then I think it's an extreme downward spiral from there. I like you, Wanda. I like you. A heavy machine gun and a fucking rocket launch. Jesus Christ. Let's have a look at the situation real quick, huh? Okay, so we can't. We do have an excursion in Volar. 
which will help to keep things going. And there is a mission in Volar, which means we can stop attrition from raising further. However, it is a combat-based mission, although only two combats. That's interesting. But yeah, most of Warsaw has fallen now. We're on our last legs. Momentum drops every single day. War assets are at an extreme deficit. And let's have a quick look at this. Yeah, the squad we just sent out needs three days to recover. Fortunately, we do have enough people now that, you know, we can actually field a team. Yeah, we can have a team of three insurgents and a volunteer, which is a pretty strong team, to be honest. And like, you know, it'll be Carol and Ernest and Wanda accompanied by either Timo or Darius, both of which are pretty good. Let's check the morgue. Yeah, uh, we have a lot in the morgue. Two Romanas on the same day. Disgraceful. And Casimir's and Janos. Yeah, that was a rough day. It's a shame. If I knew, if I knew more, if I knew what I knew now, I probably could have salvaged those situations. But you know, that's the video game, isn't it? And that's the series as well. If I was just really good at the video game, this would be boring. But I digress, I'm rambling. This is the end of the episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I think we've got maybe one more episode in us before this all comes to a screeching halt, because other than just constantly doing excursions in Vola and completing missions here, what can we do? We're going to get grinded. We're going to get worn down. We, they will grind us down, which is, of course, the whole point. This is the whole point. There was no way we could defend all of Warsaw. We've been forced back to Vola, and we will eventually be overrun, because that's what happens. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, forgive me if my knowledge is incorrect or my understanding of the dates is incorrect and all that, but I believe the Warsaw Uprising was pretty much driven to the brink and was basically, was almost completely inactive by the time of the end of the war, by the time the Nazis were actually pushed out of Warsaw, but they fought so fucking hard, and of course by the time the Allies got to Warsaw, the Nazis had been dealing with a lot of shit, thanks to the Uprising. But I do believe the canonical ending to the uprising is that we lose, which, you know, doesn't give you a lot of hope in terms of when you're playing the game. But, like I say, I appreciate and I enjoy managing stressful and seemingly impossible situations. I would love to get better at this game and see how long I could realistically last. I know how it sounds. I am going to do another video on this. I want to play this until we lose. That is what I want to do. I'm just saying, we've lost, right? We're going to lose. There's no two ways about it. I, if there even was a way to pull it back, and I don't think there is, I don't think I'd be able to do it. But I digress. I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Where's my phone? There it is. Special thanks to Tio Iverson, Sir World, Jumping with Joy, Warmaster Oku, SCP-106A, Nimad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. It is thanks to your support that I get to do dumb shit like this. Well, actually, this is not dumb shit at all. This game is actually extremely fucking cool. You know, like, Lobcorp is cool, but it's also heavy meme town, whereas this is just cool and interesting, right? There's no comedy here, and it doesn't need to be. It's just a really cool game. Exploring an interesting period of history. But I digress. I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and we will lose. That's it. That's all there is to it. It will be the end. And when it comes, I hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye. Goodbye.